What if Israel's F-35 isn't just a jet, but a flying supercomputer re-engineered in secret to dominate the skies? From stealth upgrades to electronic warfare systems no one else has, Israel's F-35 may be rewriting the future of air combat. Stay tuned. What you'll discover next will shock you. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel where we break down the most advanced defense technologies shaping the world today. In this video, we're diving deep into one of the most talked about topics in modern air warfare, Israel's F-35 upgrades, known locally as the Adir, meaning Mighty One. Israel's version of the F-35 isn't just another stealth jet. It's a customized powerhouse built for the country's unique defense needs. While many nations fly the F-35, none have modified it quite like Israel. Reports suggest that Israeli engineers have unlocked hidden capabilities, turning the jet into a platform that can communicate directly with ground forces, launch cyber operations mid-flight, and adapt to rapidly changing battlefield conditions. The question is, are these upgrades simply tactical modifications or is Israel rewriting the entire playbook for stealth warfare? Let's uncover the truth behind the technology, the strategy, and the mystery of Israel's secret F-35 program. Before we understand Israel's changes, we must look at what makes the F-35 special. The F-35 Lightning II, produced by Lockheed Martin, is one of the most advanced multi-role fighter jets in history. Its stealth design, data fusion, and global connectivity make it a cornerstone of modern air forces. But Israel never settles for standard. From the beginning, Israel secured special permission to access and modify parts of its F-35 systems, something no other US ally was allowed to do. Why? Because Israel's operational environment is unique, surrounded by complex threats, fast changing enemy tactics, and constant cyber challenges. The country needed a jet that could integrate seamlessly into its homegrown defense network, from Iron Dome missile interceptors to battlefield drones. So, rather than relying entirely on American software, Israeli engineers designed their own electronic warfare systems, mission computers, and command interfaces, essentially transforming the F-35 into a platform tailored for Israeli warfare. The result, a stealth jet that's not just built for air dominance, but for total battlefield control. Once the F-35s arrived, the Israeli Air Force and defense tech companies like Elbit Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries began the process of turning them into the Adder variant. Their goal wasn't just to improve performance, but to create independence. Israel integrated its own data links that connect the F-35 directly to its ground forces, satellites, and intelligence systems. Unlike other F-35 operators, Israel can modify mission data files, meaning its jets can recognize and respond to regional threats without relying on U.S. updates. Another major change lies in the cockpit interface. Israeli pilots see customized data feeds built from domestic intelligence sources, giving them real-time awareness that no other nation's F-35 pilots have. These changes might sound minor, but they represent total sovereignty over one of the most advanced weapon systems ever made. It's a rare case of a small nation customizing a superpower's technology to suit its unique defense doctrine and doing it successfully. One of Israel's most secretive upgrades lies in its electronic warfare EW suite. EW is the silent battlefield of the 21st century, where the goal is not just to destroy targets, but to blind, confuse, or disable enemy systems. Israel's F-35s are believed to carry a domestically developed EW package that can detect and jam radar signals across multiple frequencies. This gives Israeli pilots an edge against advanced surface-to-air missiles and enemy aircraft. Imagine flying undetected through one of the world's most contested airspaces. That's the kind of dominance EW provides. What's more, these systems can adapt dynamically. If a new radar type appears, the F-35 sensors analyze it in flight and adjust responses automatically. 
The data is then shared across Israel's defense network, improving the effectiveness of every F-35 in the fleet. Essentially, each mission makes the next one smarter. That's not just defense. It's artificial intelligence in combat driven by real-time learning. Here's where the story gets even more interesting. Israel is a global leader in cyber warfare, and some analysts believe the F-35 Adir may be equipped with cyber tools capable of electronic infiltration. In other words, instead of just jamming enemy systems, it might be able to digitally disrupt or take control of them. While official details remain classified, Israel's known integration between air and cyber units suggests a next level capability, turning the jet into a flying cyber hub. Imagine an F-35 entering hostile airspace and disabling radar systems not by force but by code. This kind of electronic dominance fits perfectly with Israel's doctrine achieve maximum impact with minimal exposure. By merging cyber intelligence and air operations, the Adir becomes more than a fighter. It's a strategic weapon that can shape digital and physical battlefields at once. This might be the single biggest leap in air combat since stealth technology itself. Another key part of Israel's F-35 strategy is weapon integration. Unlike standard F-35s, which rely on U.S.-approved munitions, the Israeli Adir can carry domestically developed weapons. These include precision, guided bombs, and air, to surface missiles created by Rafal and Israel military industries. This means the Adir isn't restricted by American export regulations. It can use whatever tools Israel deems necessary for its missions. Moreover, engineers have designed internal weapons configurations to preserve stealth, even with local payloads. This level of customization allows Israeli pilots to switch seamlessly between stealth operations and heavy strike missions. It's a remarkable balance between independence and efficiency, turning the adder into both a scalpel and a hammer. Whether it's surgical strikes on strategic targets or deep penetration missions, Israel's F-35 fleet can adapt instantly. That flexibility is what makes it such a formidable part of Israel's defense architecture. Israel doesn't see the F-35 as an isolated weapon, it's part of a much larger defense ecosystem. The Adir communicates directly with systems like the Iron Dome, David Sling, and Aero Missile Interceptors. It can share target data in real time, allowing ground defenses to react instantly to airborne threats. In practical terms, if an enemy missile is launched, an F-35 can detect it first, classify it, and feed data to the nearest interceptor system within seconds. This integrated approach turns Israel's entire defense network into a synchronized war machine. The F-35 becomes the eyes and ears of the battlefield, coordinating everything from aerial reconnaissance to missile defense. This level of integration is unmatched, and it's one reason Israel has achieved a kind of digital battlefield unity that many nations are still trying to build. The Adder isn't just a jet, it's the neural link of Israel's defense brain. Unlike most F-35 operators, Israel has already used its fleet in combat. Since 2018, the Adder has flown numerous missions, though details remain classified. Israeli officials have confirmed that the jet was used in real combat operations, making Israel the first nation in the world to deploy the F-35 in active missions. Reports suggest these missions involve deep strikes into heavily defended areas where stealth and precision were vital. Every sortie provided valuable data, feeding into Israel's constant cycle of technological improvement. The lessons learned from real world use feed directly back into software updates, system refinements, and pilot tactics. It's a continuous feedback loop turning experience into advancement. This combat-tested approach means that Israel's F-35s don't just look powerful on paper, they've proven it in the skies. And every mission pushes the jet's potential even further. So 
What do these upgrades mean strategically? For Israel, they create a level of air dominance unmatched in the region. The F-35A Deer's ability to strike anywhere, gather intelligence, and coordinate national defense assets gives Israel a decisive edge, but it also changes how warfare is conducted. Instead of relying solely on brute force, Israel focuses on speed, information, and precision, winning battles before they begin. The message is clear technological superiority equals security. For neighboring nations, the presence of the Adir serves as a powerful deterrent. It's not just the fear of being attacked, it's the uncertainty of not knowing what the jet can truly do. That ambiguity itself becomes a weapon. In a world where perception matters as much as performance, Israel's upgraded F-35 is both a shield and a statement, a declaration of intelligence-led power. When we look at Israel's F-35 program as a whole, it's clear that the upgrades are more than just hidden technology. They represent strategic genius. Israel has taken one of the world's most advanced fighter jets and made it uniquely its own, aligning it perfectly with national defense goals. This isn't just innovation, it's adaptation at its finest. The Adder reflects a mindset that values autonomy, integration, and intelligence above all else. Every modification serves a purpose to ensure that Israel's pilots, systems, and decision makers operate faster and smarter than any potential adversary. In the end, the true power of Israel's F-35 program isn't just in the jet itself, it's in the vision behind it, a vision that blends technology, experience, and strategy into one unstoppable force. If you found this breakdown fascinating, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss our next deep dive into global defense technology. Share your thoughts in the comments. Do you think Israel's F-35 upgrades are hidden technology or pure strategic genius? Your opinion might just spark our next investigation.